is AI going to replace you? AI is on the rise. Artificial intelligence is being adopted rapidly in many organizations, replacing some employees, automating things, making it easier so they can downsize. What about if you're 45 years and older and it's already a challenge to stay relevant and to be perceived as not an old fogey or out of the loop of what is current and hot. How does this speak to the future for the 45 plus expert community? You are watching Influence Media, PSI TV, the Netflix of biz brands. Trudy Behrman here of Profitable Social Influence TV, PSI TV. And I just watched an episode where Simon Squibb interviewed Luke Belmar. If you can do these three things, you assure yourself the ability to make money. And Luke was talking about three ways to make money. But I looked at that video and I thought, hmm, especially when you're thinking of the 45 plus age group of experts, authors, business owners, when the moment we trip over past 45, there's a lot of things that happen with age that is not an issue for the younger, the younger experts. We have a strong perception of urgency to get things done, like we're running out of time. We also have a natural resistance to things that are new, because if, if it ain't broke, why fix it? So the struggle to keep up with all the new technology, the AI revolution, and all of that, we tend to be a little bit resistant. Data already shows that the 45 plus age group of experts, especially, we are not the content creators we are the content consumers, even though we have the expertise, our voice is limited and diminished in the digital realm, the online space. So now we have challenges to our relevance, challenges to our business being an actual solution for real problems in the world, especially when AI technology is on the rise. Now, Luke suggested three things. That would keep anyone relevant that would help people make money. But I'm going to take that and repurpose it for this conversation and say those three things that Luke brings up have absolute relevance of the 45 plus expert community in this way. So his three things are, you need to be the best, you need to be in high demand, and you need to be irreplaceable, not necessarily in that order. Now, I propose to you that the 45 plus community can benefit from these three ideas that Luke has presented. Now, while I'm not coming at it from the angle of making money, like new, a new income opportunity, I'm going to say for the 45 plus community who are business owners, experts in their space, you are already creating solutions to problems. You probably already have a business or an offer, an opportunity out there but maybe at this point you've noticed that the younger ones are getting a lot more of the benefits and the business. And you see a lot of these young whippersnappers, you know, talking about making six figures and seven figures doing what you do, but they just, they just showed up on the scene. So here is how I'm suggesting that these three things that Luke presents are going to benefit you. If you're in the 45 plus expert community to really dominate your space and even crush the results of some of these younger upstarts. So when it comes to Luke's point about being irreplaceable, that is one of the first areas that AI is definitely showing to be the most 
scary um, for a lot of people. It is, it is definitely a new technology that needs your attention. But I'm not coming at the, the irreplaceable aspect of Luke's message from this perspective of AI in particular. Here's my idea for his concept of being irreplaceable. I want you to just look at your fingerprints for a moment. And there are no two identical fingerprints in the world, even amongst identical twins. The identity that you have, your DNA sequence, you are still a unique person. And to your immediate family and friends, they would argue that you are replaceable. You are irreplaceable in your true essence of who you are. And this is the point I want to make here. Brands that are becoming more authentic, not so generalized, they're more authentic, they're more vulnerable, they're more transparent, they're more you. Those brands are picking up steam regardless of what AI is doing out in the world. When things appear common, ordinary, one of the many, part of the pack, general, it is, there's no differentiation and anything that comes along and shines a light can become the highlight of the moment. That is why over here at PSI TV, we love to highlight the rising stars to help you stand out from the pack. Bring your identity up for a little bit more awareness and put your offer out into the world on the platform of TV, which is right now very brand new space for experts and business owners because TV of the past was an absolute block for us, except for the expensive advertising, which was not the same. Because in an ad, you are very salesy, it's very short, it has, a, it has a strong call to action, and people don't really like ads. But when you can create more of an edutainment style content, kind of like more infomercial type situation or just put your content out there in story form or whatever using a platform like tv for example which is very exclusive i mean you can you should still do it on social media so let me just say that but my point is stand out from the crowd by being yourself by being your authentic transparent unique self showing up personally with your personality with your quirks and your failures and all to show that what you do does have an irreplaceable spin to it in fact if you are following any kind of coaching training in the business space you may have even heard of creating your own unique mechanism so over here at psi tv we have many mechanisms for example, we have one called Get Hired, H-I-R-E-D, not just the word get hired as in you are getting the business or you are getting an opportunity getting hired, but H-I-R-E-D stands for something. It is our mechanism or unique mechanism for offering the services that we do. Have you ever been to a salon? and your stylist is unavailable, your barber is unavailable, they're busy doing someone else's head. Someone else offers, hey, I can help you. And you're like, no, I'll wait. It's not about the opportunity to get your hair cut or styled. It's not about even being in the same location and paying the same price. If you have had excellent service from your barber or stylist, you want that person to help you, even if it means you're willing to wait. And that is the spin that I'm putting on Luke's version of being irreplaceable. The next thing is being the best, being the best. Now Luke talked about being the best and uh, Simon Squibb pitched in and said, hey, even if you are a server in a restaurant, if you are the best at what you do, you're still going to stand out and you're still going to get opportunities. And I agree. Now, here is where the 45 plus community actually has an advantage. 
Here is the crazy thing. We actually have an advantage because we have lived 45 plus years. We have seen, we've seen it all or seen so much. We've seen variations of the thing. We have tried it many times. We've had many opportunities to try it. We have done it many ways. We have learned much more. We have much more mastery, years of experience, touching time of the thing. We have done it and seen it all. And these young upstarts, yes, they may have gotten a credential or two or a year or two of experience, but it, there's something that comes with the maturity and wisdom of time that cannot be replaced. Just like fine wine gets better with age, we get better with that maturity and wisdom that comes with time. Now, over time, if you love what you do and you're passionate of what you do, there's a strong chance that you're going to have done it so many times or pursued mastery in it and have so many credentials that you are going to dominate in mastery and in skill and in insight that these young upstarts just will not have. Last but not least, being in high demand. Now, there are times when you can create high demand temporarily or in a, in a situation like when COVID happened and people are buying up toilet paper or if there's a hurricane and water is all sold out. So there are situations that can create an increase and in intense high demand for something that may not be sustained. Taylor Swift can fill stadiums because it's not just about hearing someone sing or looking at someone who's pretty or talented. Taylor Swift has a unique following that is undeniable and they want her. Taylor Swift is a great example because she, although she started singing at a very young age, over time, she has built mastery. She has, so she has, she has shown herself to be so vulnerable and so transparent that people just love her. And so she has become irreplaceable. Nobody else who can even sing Taylor Swift's song can be Taylor Swift. Taylor Swift is a unique, irreplaceable person. She has become a master at her craft undeniably. And because of that, she is in high demand. Now, to you 45 plus who are experts in your space, Start being more vulnerable, more transparent, show the flaws, show your unique identity. As you do what you do, show people that you are the real deal. They're going to appreciate that and that's going to make you irreplaceable. Then per, if you're passionate about what you do, pursue mastery, get those credentials, do the thing more often and get more experience and more experiences. And then you're going to find that you are the best. And over time, or even with a little bit of luck of being in the right place at the right time, like being on PSI TV, for example, you can help to increase demand for you and what you do. Trudy Behrman here. It is my mission to optimize your opportunity to be discovered for what you do. That is my passion over here. This is why PSI TV exists and why I create this community content day after day, week after week, so that you can have an opportunity to learn from someone who is studying this at the doctoral level and through life experience. I am studying what it means to have influential reach and I share it here with you. Trudy Behrman here. I hope this was of value and super simple to find and I do look forward to connecting.